Welcome to this training session on the Garmin Apollo GPS, hosted by yours truly, Major Updraft. In this session, we will be discussing the sector search. Our objective, to understand in what situations a sector search may be appropriate and how to perform the search in a logical, easy to remember procedure. Typically, a sector search is utilized when information points to a specific location that has a high probability to be near a crash site. For example, a concerned citizen calls in during the night saying they heard a low-flying aircraft in the general area of a suspected downed aircraft. That caller's home address lat long coordinates could then be used as the center point of the sector search. There are many techniques that can result in a successful sector search. The technique I will share is simple, avoids doing math computations during flight, and gets the job done. I encourage productive discussion on the page below to discuss this or other techniques. First step is confirming where your center point is. This may be given to you by a command base as a lat long, or even could be a prominent physical landmark, or you simply mark it yourself during flight. We will mark an arbitrary point for this demonstration. But let's get our configuration right. In the Cessna 182, we're going to be using 90 knots as our target airspeed with 10 degrees of flap. Those flaps give us slightly better forward visibility. We also want our GPS on the split map page. Before we look at the GPS, there's a few key hazards I want to review. First and foremost, the stall spin near the ground due to uncoordinated flight without the altitude for recovery. This could be the most dangerous hazard of flight. Second, pilot distraction. For example, fixating on the ground, not flying the airplane, or looking for traffic in the area and not paying attention to what you're doing with the aircraft. Third, obstacles at low flight altitudes, such as cell towers and power lines. Usually when we're low to the ground in the pattern, we're in an airport protected area. But when we're out and about, we need to be very attuned to what towers and power lines are in our area. Next, poor aircraft control. Keep monitoring your airspeed, coordination, and altitude. We need to be precise flyers at these low altitudes when we're doing search and rescue. Lastly, keep a watch out for other traffic. We can get so focused on what's happening with the search and rescue on the ground that we're forgetting that there's other aircraft that could be transiting the area or perhaps looking for the same aircraft you're looking for. Always expect traffic and help everybody to keep their eyes outside and scanning, never fixating on one particular point. I encourage you to subscribe to the Major Updraft channel in order to catch future training videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, Knowledge and proficiency promotes safe flying.